What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, and everyone watching me on YouTube. I have got a new series just for you. This is a modded Minecraft series, and it is a mod, mod pack that I have created myself. Um, spent quite a bit of time today putting this together, making sure everything all works nice and smoothly, and frame rates, and blah blah blah. All that fun stuff. So, without further ado, the reason I haven't started this in the world itself is because I wanted to show you how I'm going to set this up. I'm going to give myself a bonus chest, and the world type I'm going to choose is this New Dawn one. That, um, we'll see once we get into the world, and we'll name the world Dan Modded MC. Okay, Game World Survival, we've got the bonus chest, allow cheats are off so I can't cheat anything and let's create the new world. So this mod pack is, um, what's the best way to describe it? It's kind of like, think less Minecraft, more SimCity, Cities XL, The Sims, things like that. It contains a mod called SimuCraft. And this is one of the reasons why I chose to start the recording from the main screen, is because this is the SimuCraft main screen. Now. We'll get more into SimuCraft later, but this is just a little bit of a preview. So the options that we have on this launching screen is do not run SimuCraft. This mode switches off SimuCraft for this world. We don't want that. Normal mode, ideal for beginners and experts, not too challenging. It's tempting. Creative, no money needed, everything free, no blocks required, be creative. Definitely don't want that one. Hardcore mode, builders require all blocks, harder gameplay. That's the one that we want. Now, another thing. Um, I'm just going to get this bonus chest, get everything out of it. Good, we got some food and an axe. Not bad, not bad. So you might notice the world looks a little bit different. The trees are a bit leafier. They got stuff falling off them, the clouds. Most of the mods I've added to this are gameplay related. They will make the game a bit more in depth, a bit more fun. So, you might have also just seen, Steve Anvilbo has just wandered into the area. So, that'll come into play a little bit later. First things first, this is for the Minecraft Comes Alive mod that I've also included, which will integrate well into SimuCraft. Right click on this crystal ball, we get some crazy music and visuals. Right click on the enchantment table, and this is where it lets me set up my character. Um, this is kind of like a basic character creation screen from... Um, like just any any M uh, any RPG or anything like that. Uh, again, very basic. So, uh, am I male or female? I am male. I prefer females. My name is Dan Six. Now, choose your destiny. This is good if you want to use Minecraft Comes Alive as the basis for your playthrough. Uh, I don't. I'm actually using the SimuCraft as the that's like the cornerstone of this mod pack. Um, as we dive more into things, you'll see what I mean and how that's going to work, but you just have to trust me for now. So if you choose I have a family, I, I'm not too sure how that works. I think it just gives you like a house with a family or whatever else. Um, I live alone. It gives you a little, just a platform, but it's got bedrock and stuff in it, so it's not very good. I live in a village. Spawns you in a village with other villagers that you can interact with and form relationships with. If you've seen the Minecraft Comes Alive mod, you'll know how all that works. Um, none of these is what I'm going to choose. So this will just put me right back in the world where I was, but it's given me the settings that I'm a male and I'm interested in females. So, SimuCraft. To get started... Uh, where are we? SimuCraft, okay. So to get started, you want this building constructor. Okay, so it's pretty simple. A couple of birchwood planks, a crafting table, and a bunch of cobblestone. So, right now, I don't even have a pickaxe. So, let me just quickly make myself a crafting table, pump it down, probably need a bit more wood. I need more sticks, actually. Okay, a couple of sticks, some wood planks, got ourselves a pickaxe. Might even go for a shovel as well, just to make life a little bit easier. Alright, now, so let's see, what did I need? cobblestone. I'll see if there's any... I'll just go for a bit of a wander. Um, oh, yep, here we go. And I needed five of it. I really should just make myself a cobblestone pickaxe, but 
I really want to just dive straight into this. Oh, the current, it hurts. Okay. So that's all of the cobblestone that we need. Now, the new dawn, um, it makes the terrain, it's, it just makes the terrain a bit nicer, a bit smoother. Um, supposedly, I haven't had a chance to test this, but things that are generated into the world, uh, like structures, will appear a lot nicer. Like this hill isn't just a steep bop bop hill, it's nice smooth rolling hills. It, it's really pretty, I quite like it. I actually haven't, it's the one mod that I didn't test before. <laughs> oh, snort a little bit. Not one test I didn't, one mod I didn't test before loading up the world, so. Um, I'm really glad that it works smoothly. I, I looked at some screenshots and it looked really pretty. So yeah, it's, it's really nice. All right, so let's put our work table down. We need that. We also need a bit more to pop across the top there. Crafting table. And now we have it, the Simucraft Building Constructor. Now you might be asking, what does this do? What is Simucraft? I'm still confused, please explain. So, Simucraft Building Constructor. I'm not sure how to set the orientation of it, so I'm just going to put it down here and hope Simucraft for the best. Simucraft Building Constructor activated. And we get a nice lady telling us what's going on. Now if I right click on this, I can choose to hire a builder, hire a terraformer, or show employees. Now I don't have any employees yet, so... No point looking at that. First thing I'm going to want to do is hire a builder. Earlier on we saw this Steve Anvilbrow, Anvilbrow, whatever, um, join the area, or well, enter the area. So if we click him, he's now our builder. Okay. Now we can go, oh, he's getting teleported over here, that's Isn't what those effects are. Birthday next week? Is it my birthday next week? No, it's my birthday next month, thanks for asking. So let's take a look at him, see? Steve Anvilbrow. He's a builder, he's homeless, he's single, and he's well-fed. He's got a weird face. <laughs> if we choose choose building, we get this list of residential, commercial, industrial, and other. For now, we're just going to look at the uh, residential ones. And you can see we've got this whole list of residential houses. Um, but there's pages of them. You can actually download more blueprints off the Simucraft website. But for now, this is this is what we're running with. I am going to want to build something not particularly huge. Let's see. Let's go with the village house. So this cost, if you saw earlier, it had um, Simu credits at the top corner. That's where this cost comes into it. Dimensions is how big it is. Um, you've got the author, sub E72. Now, number of blocks on the ground construction should be zero, fine, that's good. Now if we click requirements, this is what we're going to need to build it. So we're going to need 107 cobblestone, one torch, eight stone slabs, one stone stairs. So quite a bit of stuff's required, but I know we don't have this yet, but we'll click build it. Now this guy, so it's going to go here by the look of it. Okay, I don't know if we can move this or whatever else, but yeah. So if we... So he's saying here, please place at least one chest or storage block near to constructor block. So I'm going to pop a chest down there, and he's going to look, and he's going to see there's not the right stuff in there. Checking building resources. Can't determine the direction to build in. Please stand in one of the four sides of the constructor when you... Ah, okay, that's how it works. So let's go here. That's where I want this to be. Yeah, hey. Hi, builder. Okay, so he wasn't actually employed as a builder, okay. Residential, so let's just do this again. Um, I think I chose the village house. And then requirements, build it. So he's going to look through the blueprints, checking building resources. It might have been because I clicked the top of it before. Steve Amblebrow has started building village house. Now, so he's going to build it out this way. How is he building? I don't have this... Okay, that shouldn't be working, but it is. I'm not going to question it yet. Um, maybe an issue with the mod, if there's not enough things in the... Okay, building village house needs more cobblestone. So, again, we can click on choose building, residential, the village house. So we need 107 cobblestone. That's not too bad. So, what's gonna, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a quick cut in the recording. 
I'm gonna get that 107 cobblestone, probably a little bit more, and then I will come right back to you. All right, so he's waiting for cobblestone. We've got two and a bit stacks. The reason I got the bit is because I know he needs cobblestone stairs. Um, I think he also needs wood stairs too, but you can also see now he's a little hungry. So to feed him, let's give him two apples in the chest and he's going to eat those. Probably after he takes the cobblestone, but we'll pop all that in there. And look at him go. I might just harvest these gardens because food is going to come in handy later. Absolutely. Now, he's while he plods along building his house, I do need to get some um, more wood. Remember my words. So yeah, I need to get more wood since I will need um, stairs. He needs stairs at some point. So let's get that. Come on. Start breaking. So now, as far as this mod pack goes, I won't be releasing it just yet as a like mod pack um, available for download or anything like that. The reason for this... Oh, look at that. You guys see these stairs. Um, the reason for that is... Let's see. You're hungry. Eat food. You got apples. Waiting for planks. How many planks does he need? Oh, did he need lots of planks or something as well? Waiting for planks. Okay, come on. He needs lots of planks. Alright, well, I guess that'll give me a good opportunity to talk to you. So yeah, won't be releasing this mod pack as a downloadable pack just yet. Also, just quickly, up the top of the screen where the Simu credits is, that is um, the... But you can see it's going down. The construction cost that you saw earlier, that's what that ties into. Um, it all makes sense a bit later, but basically you build a house, a resident's going to move in, he's going to pay taxes, um, just like in SimCity, and I get money and I can use that money to build more town. Yes, more town. <laughs> so yeah, I won't be releasing this mod pack just because, um, I mean, this is this is me testing it. I, I just wanted to dive straight in, I wanted to record it, you know, and I thought, well, why not record it while I test it, play around with it, if we find any bugs, I might leave this tree, because that's uh, a pear tree, yeah, if we find any bugs or anything like that, then, you know, screw it, we'll figure it out, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, later on down the track, I may release a list of the mods, at least, just so you can at least see what's involved in it. Um, but still, just nothing as yet. So it needs more planks. I know, buddy, I know. I mean, at the moment, you know, you can see it's got Simucraft and Minecraft comes alive. I just, I really want to see how well they integrate together. It, from what I've seen, and I have played each of them individually, um, only a little bit with the Simucraft, though. But with, uh, what did you agree? Minecraft comes alive. I've played a few packs that included that. And I wanted to do a bit of my own, so I'm hoping this is going to be enough planks for him. Uh, where is he? He's over this way, isn't he? Over on this hill. Um, also, the localized weather mod is included, which is all this stuff. So yeah, I will eventually release it as a proper mod pack that you people can just go and download and play along. But for now, this is just how it's going to be. Just, just for me at the moment. So, since this guy's still building his house, I might make another cut here, and we'll come back once he's built his house, or at least once he's finishing up on it. Okay, so just something I'd like to quickly mention. Um, he's making progress on his house, however, they seem to be... The way the blueprints must work is that they're based... they're directional. So you can see these stairs are kind of the wrong way. Um, he started putting some torches in, and I don't know about you, but that doesn't seem right to me. So you may need to do a little bit of fixing up. Well, I'm guessing this stair, that's meant to be the entrance to the house. Um, so yeah, you probably need to do a little bit of touch-up work once they're done. Because, 
my guess is that those stairs aren't meant to go that way. <laughs> but you can see, he's making uh, good progress on the house. He seems to keep needing more stairs, so I might just take all of these. Because if that whole roof is just going to be stairs, let's just give him that, see what happens. So yeah, also a lot more resources required than I thought. Um, honestly, he's probably been building this house now for 25 minutes. Um, most of that time has just been me running around getting materials and bringing them back to him. Being like, hey, here's this, here's that. But look, he's building this all by himself. That's pretty impressive. And now he's waiting for planks. God damn. I don't think he's going to need logs anymore. There you go, have a stack of planks. So yeah, like, I think this is really cool. Um, I mean, anyone who has played Minecraft with me will tell you that I like building villages. I like building cities and just this kind of thing. So when I, f when I found out about this mod and started playing around with it and saw how it worked, I was just blown away. I thought, this, this is what I want. This is my mod. You know, this is a mod that I can just spend hours using. Um, now, obviously, if we hadn't have chosen Hardcore, I wouldn't require every single plank or every single bit of glass or, you know, every torch that he's going to need to place or anything like that. Um, but it just makes it a bit more realistic. I'm not sure if he's placed other torches and they've despawned. No, that's the one torch he's placed. Okay. So, yeah, it is situational, um, like, everything seems to be backwards right now, but I'll go around and dress all that up. I also don't think they can place doors, so you need to do that for them as well. Um, not sure what the stone slabs are about, but I'm not going to question it. This control block here tells you, building village house by subby 27, type residential under construction, there are zero residences, zero residents in there. And we can see that Steve Amblebrow is building it in the overworld. He's at work waiting for logs. So, I really shouldn't have wasted all of those logs. Um, but I guess it gives me a little bit more time to talk to you guys about said pack and my plans for it. Um, like I said, I do want to publish this as a... Like, I do want to make this a published mod pack. Uh, I'm not... Yeah, like, I will soon once I'm 100% sure on all the mods that I've got in it at this present time and I'm not going to add anything or remove anything later on, um, I'll publish the mod list. I'm sure you can figure a lot of it out just by watching this though. Um, this is single player only, unfortunately. I would love to play this multiplayer, but SimuCraft does not play like that. Um, the mod author has made it very clear that this is single player only and there is no and at least for the foreseeable future will be no multiplayer support and since that's kind of the mod that this pack revolves around this pack won't be multiplayer compatible so that means no server download um which is fine you know it's this pack, you shouldn't need to play with other people, it's, you know, you've got builders, you've got NPCs to interact with, it's more of a single player experience, and I quite like that. I'm trying to get another sapling or two, but doesn't want to play. Oh well, that's fine, I've got enough. Um, there are some tech mods involved, there are a lot of decorative mods involved, like, I mean, a lot expect in future episodes there may just be one episode of me just walking around decorating a few houses and that's it that might be all i do for the whole episode um i'm not saying that's going to happen because that might be boring i mean if you want to see that in the future let me know but for now you know this is this is what we're going to get we're just going to watch him build and yeah so it, this house it looks just like one of the houses that you would expect to see in a village in Minecraft. Um, he's probably going to run out of stuff soon too. He's out of stairs again. Great. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that the things I'm going to test in the future um, with building things are going to be... I want to know if he can use... if I cut down, say, like one of those redwoods off in the distance or birch, if he can use those planks. Um, when I chose the the building that he's using, the blueprint, when I chose that one, he 
it just said planks or wood planks and stone slabs I'm not sure if that means that I can use um, like spruce wood planks or birch wood planks or redwood planks or whatever those silver trees are over there like it would be awesome if I could like, that would just be so cool I might even cut this log down I wanted to leave these logs in but I guess I can always add stuff like that in later yeah, like it would be awesome if you could have houses built out of different types of wood or... Um, I have, like, another mod that's included in this is Chisel 2. So if I could use chiseled wood and have him build a house out of chiseled wood, that would be freaking awesome. Um, obviously I'm not just going to leave these houses as they are, like, just plain like that. I'm going to add in, like, I'm going to go around and add little touches in, make them all unique and just dress them up so they're a little bit less bland not saying that they're like this is not bland by any means this is an awesome house for something that I can just go okay you build this house you you know build that one um, it's it's amazing I think this mod is just phenomenal and the mod author is just this must have taken so much time to code but yeah I seem to be running out of time quite quickly on this recording, on this episode. I mean, you can see I've, because he built the house floating, I put a bit of dirt down just to correct it. I'll smooth everything out once there's some more buildings in and I work out how I want the land to look and everything else. But yeah, since I'm running out of time, this time for sure, I will be back once this house is completely finished. And what do you know? Steve Anvilbrow has completed building a village house. So, as you can see, it's a bit strange, the stairs are all facing the wrong direction, but that's fine, that is fine, I mean I can fix things up as I go along, I pop those stairs around the right way, I'll go around and I'll fix up all these other stairs as things go, and now look, he's moving into his own little house, so if I haven't, I do definitely have enough of those. You can make him a door. I don't think I can place it on that though, can I? No, I can't. Alright, let's give him get a cobblestone. There we go. Now he's got a house. He's a little hungry. I still don't know how to feed him. But now we can see here. Name, Steve Anvilbrow, age 18 years old, gender, male adult, job, unemployed. Well, you're a builder, but can't blame you for that. He's a tenant, and you can see his building skill, one of ten. The more they build, or mine, or guard you, the higher and higher that will go. So he'll build quicker um, as things progress. Let's see. Ah, rotate stairs. No. Doesn't seem to be working. possibly meant to do that as he's building the house, I'm not sure. But also, now, Morning Puff Norse Papa has just wandered into the area, so I can put him to work building another house, or her, that like Morning Puff could be male or female, I'm not even sure. So, he, I am going to, in between this episode and next, fix up this house, just the roof, <clears throat> Excuse me, just the roof. Oh, I can't say roof properly. Just the roof. Um, his, the lighting situation in here also needs a bit of a reconsideration. So I'll just pop a torch there. And that should do it. He's a little hungry. I still... Maybe if I just throw an apple... Oh. oh yeah, throw an apple at him. A little hungry. Well fed. There we go. So you just throw food at them. <laughs> and... They uh, eat it. Shut that. So yeah, I will dress his house up in between this episode and next. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, tell me what you think of this mod pack, sort of what you know about it. I know I'm keeping a lot in the dark, but I've got things planned in the future. Big, big, big things that hopefully you'll enjoy. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of mod pack, the series, the idea is that I'm just going to build a massive town, massive city, have people in it, population, things like that, uh, everything, like, just, it, think SimCity, think Cities XL, 
think The Sims, considering you have to, you know, physically directly interact with them, tell them what to do. They can have relationships. So, yeah, just, just keep your mind open. Um, and, yeah, enjoy the series, as always. Um, you know, subscribe if you enjoyed, leave a like, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, interact with me on various social media outlets, and be sure to tune in next time when things will hopefully develop further. Peace out, guys.